Give me someone have a crusty face. <laughs> I didn't have a crusty face. Right, tell us a little bit about Max and some of the uh, struggles that he's gone through. Max is, uh, uh, we hope, heading to a new chapter of his life um, and put the old one behind him. Um, this poor little guy has um, been the victim of what we believe is chronic abuse. He arrived <laughs> unable to stand at the end of October, about October 30th. Um, he had uh, uh, quite a bit of swelling around the left side of his head. He wasn't using his back leg. Our veterinarian took one look at him and thought that she could feel multiple breaks all in different stages of healing. That was confirmed, sadly, through x-rays. Um, we contacted our friends at the MSPCA, their law enforcement division, which is uh, we're pretty fortunate to have here in Massachusetts. He liked my finger. And they uh, conducted an investigation. As a result, two adults and a minor are being charged with felony counts of animal cruelty. Um, allegedly, Max suffered um, quite a few broken ribs, a broken rear leg, and a broken bone under his eye, and uh, severe br brain trauma. Now, what does that brain trauma mean for him long term? We don't really know, unfortunately. Um, we, our veterinarian, Dr. Atkins, has consulted with a neurologist at Tufts. Uh, both agree that there's going to be a pretty decent quality of life for Max, but nobody knows how far he'll come. Hey, baby. Recommending some pretty intense rehabilitation with water therapy and other, other measures to uh, be sure we're doing what we can to get him to come as far as he can. But the truth is we don't know if he'll gain any more of his motor skills back. and coordination in that. He does have quite a lot of trouble standing, um, walking around, he's limping quite a lot. Is that uh, going to be a long-lasting effect, do you think? It could be. This could be as far as he ever comes. So this, he has uh, trouble, sometimes he kind of face plants, uh, gets going a little too fast, he has some issues with his front wrist too, and uh, his back looks keep crossing over on him, causing him to fall. So ideally the home will have a lot of carpeting, um, someone who really understands that hi buddy um, there this will probably be a lifestyle change for certainly him but for the family too this will be building your life around a little special needs pup he's happy as the day is long though which is really interesting what you want to curl up he still Don't loves humans he, he's just he he can't get enough of humans um, we put him outside alone for some playtime and he won't have it he just simply wants a lap uh, or a toy to chew on next to a lap Hi! You're being silly. Do you want to walk around? No, you had enough walking around. Where our concern too is that uh, he's just a baby. He's only six or seven months old. So as he grows, how will his body handle that additional weight? So there are a lot of factors that are just unknown. Um, it, it's beyond a difficult decision to um, to know what's right. We seriously considered euthanasia. Um, he started showing signs of improvement, and he still does. But we just don't know if he's going to regress as he continues to improve. We just don't know. So we're just hoping that we're making the right decision for him now. For today, he's super happy and, huh, doesn't know any different. Doesn't know any different. You're sassy. Oh.